Nearly a decade ago, the first Tesla Model S was announced, and that was their flagship car that propelled Tesla to where they are today as a brand and as a company and as a leader in the EV industry. Well, last night, they just held the event and announced and revealed their brand new Tesla Plaid Model S. In this video, I'm gonna go over the top five new features of the Model S Plaid. Let's get into it. So the reason the Model S Plaid is a big deal is because this is the first redesign and refresh of the Model S in quite a long time. It's been years, long time coming, and it's finally here. But it's not just about the redesign and refresh of the exterior, of the way it looks, but really it's about what's on the inside uh, with the new technology. And of course, with the Model S Plaid, the best feature is the new motor that, that delivers the performance that's unmatched in any other production car. So the Plaid Model S features a tri-motor all-wheel drive platform with torque vectoring featuring three independent motors each with a carbon sleeved rotor that maintains peak power output all the way to top speed and this is the project palladium that tesla has been working on for a while now so it is finally coming in this new model s plaid these new electric motors in the tesla model s plaid are extremely efficient and lightweight and small, but they deliver so much power, which is why they are so innovative. And here's the power curve showing the new Model S Plaid staying at a thousand horsepower pretty steadily all the way up to max speed. And the Model S Plaid breaks some records because it is the quickest production car to go zero to 60 miles an hour in less than two seconds. Although it comes with an asterisk, that 1.99 second time is with rollout subtracted. And I think it also requires some special tires as well. But nonetheless, it is still going to be the quickest production car in the world. No other car can beat it right now. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh my goodness! Holy God! And that's no, 100. That was 100! That was 100! <laughs> It also does a quarter mile in 9.23 seconds, which is incredible when this is something we already knew before the event took place. But the reason this is special is because this is designed to be a family sedan at its heart. It's a four door sedan and it sits up to five adults. And with this type of performance and safety in a family sedan like this, especially given that it's only $130,000, even though I say only, that is a very large amount of money for a car, obviously. But when you compare it to something like the Rimac Nevera, which is an all electric hypercar that goes zero to 60 in 1.85 seconds, that's merely milliseconds difference. And the Nevera costs $2.4 million and they're only making 150. So that just goes to show you how impressive that the Model S Plaid is. Although the Model S Plaid version starts at $130,000, uh, there's also another version that's a little bit more affordable with more range, and that brings us into battery and range. The Plaid Model S has a maximum of 390 miles of estimated range on a full charge, while the less expensive dual motor long range Model S is $80,000 and has more range at 412 miles estimated according to Elon. Now, although we were a little disappointed earlier this week when Tesla announced that they had canceled the Plaid Plus, which was supposed to have over 500 miles of estimated range, uh, Elon tweeted that 400 miles seems to be good enough for them, and that's why they canceled it. But the good news that comes out of this is that the new Model S does contain a new battery pack and will feature four modules instead of 16, uh, but it will utilize the same 18650 battery cells, not the new 4680 batteries that they've been working on for uh, a while now. Uh, there were some rumors that the new 4680 battery cells may be coming in the Model S Plaid, but that's not the case. They're still using the old 18650s for right now, but you're still getting over 400 miles of range on the long range Model Y for only $80,000. And Elon also mentioned that the supercharging of the new Model S can recharge about 187 miles of range in about 15 minutes. And speaking of supercharging, uh, Elon mentioned that there were no superchargers nine years ago when the original Model S came out, and now there are over 25,000 superchargers, even though that these fastest superchargers right now only go up to 250 kilowatts, while some of the other fast charging, DC fast chargers for other vehicles are charging up to 350 kilowatts. But Elon also hinted that they may ramp up to 280 kilowatts, 300 kilowatts, and eventually 350 kilowatts at superchargers, but he didn't specify a certain timeline for that. But nonetheless, Tesla's supercharger network is still pretty much unmatched uh, given the amount of Tesla superchargers compared to other third-party DC fast chargers. 
And Tesla managed to take a jab at Lucid Air. Last year, Lucid Air mentioned that they have the world's most aerodynamic car with a 0.21 drag coefficient. And now with the new Tesla Model S, it says it has the lowest drag coefficient with a drag coefficient of 0.208, barely beating Lucid Air. So uh, there you go. We have a new competition and rivalry between Tesla and Lucid. Can't wait to see how that goes going forward. But that new drag coefficient record will lead to better range and more aerodynamics when you're driving long distances. And speaking of range, this is something that I'm very excited about. This is the brand new heat pump and thermal system in the Model S Plaid, which was one of the biggest surprises that we had not known about up to this point. Now we already know that Tesla introduced a new heat pump that has been added to the Model Y and Model 3, and that does help improve the range, especially in colder climates when you got the heat pump. Uh, it doesn't use as much energy compared to the old way of doing it. But now Tesla has designed a brand new heat pump for the Model S. And here's what Elon had to say about the new thermal system. Uh, it's 30% better cold weather range uh, and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating in freezing conditions. You'll see very little degradation in cold weather. The new heat pump is one of my favorite features, uh, probably most underrated features of the new Model S Plaid because I was a little disappointed when the Plaid Plus got canceled. I was looking forward to that 500 miles of range that was offered, even though I wasn't going to get the car. But having 500 miles of range, it's not doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get 500 miles uh, each drive. Uh, in a cold climate, when you're driving highway speeds, a 500 mile estimated range is really only 400 miles. Hopefully this, this new thermal system and the new heat pump will lead to better range in the cold weather because that is one of the biggest downsides sides of driving an electric vehicle when it's really cold outside and you're driving on the interstate, you're going to lose uh, a, a nice chunk of your estimated range, especially if you're using the HVAC system. And last but not least, we have the new interior and new software. Uh, so the biggest difference when you first look at the interior of the Model S, you have the brand new 17 inch horizontal screen and the yoke steering wheel. Elon mentioned that they did this for uh, maximum visibility and it's designed for autopilot. So you are supposed to be able to get a better view of the instrument cluster behind the dash and they have no more stalks. So they took away the stalks on either side of the steering wheel and now they have something called auto shift. And I'll let Elon tell you about that. If, if you have to do something that the car could have done already, uh, that should be taken care of. The software should just do it. So you can actually just literally walk up to the car, it senses that you're approaching, unlocks the car based on your phone, it just basically pairs with your phone, knows that you're coming to the car, opens the door, it op op extends the handle, you sit down, and you just drive. You don't, you don't have to uh, press the drive or anything like that. The car knows you want to drive. It figures like, yeah, good guess. Another surprise that we didn't know about until the event was that they managed to redesign the interior in a way that allows more headroom and legroom, and they redesigned the second row. And of course, they have the brand new uh, second row screen for the backseat passengers as well. And just like with the Model 3 and Model Y, they've added the hidden vents, the air vents, which you can control the flow of the air from the touchscreen. They've also improved the sound system. Uh, they have their own new in-house sound system that they've designed, and it uses a new audio codec that supposedly will deliver the best sound possible. Uh, and they also have their own new acoustic glass, which will greatly improve cabin noises. And then also, of course, they mentioned the new Tesla software version 11. This is built primarily for the Model S and the Model X, but it will make its way to the Model Y and Model 3 sometime in the future. The new V11 includes a drastically updated experience, dockable windows, a customizable dock, and smooth animations for all actions. So it looks like they mainly designed the software to be customizable to the driver's liking. You can adjust the dock or whatever icons are in the dock. You can take and remove and add what you want. You can move things around, move windows around, and eventually they will add waypoints. And there's also some new features, including the music mini player, which allows you to kind of minimize the music player and move it around and have quick access to pausing, skipping, favoriting, and shuffling. And last but not least, Elon emphasized the importance of entertainment in the Model S since autopilot and full self-driving will become a bigger factor in the future. So with the new Model S Plaid, it has uh, Ryzen processors in it, and uh, he said it's going to be similar to gaming uh, on a PlayStation 5. So that type of performance, and it even showed them playing the new game that's added, Cyberpunk, uh, at 60 frames per second. So the new infotainment system should be one of a kind, and it should be like nothing you've seen in any other car up to this point. So if you want to get your hands on the new Model S Plaid, they're going to ramp up production to a few hundred units per week and then go up to a thousand units per week next quarter. That's their goal. So if you get one of these, I would love to check it out. If you live near me in Louisville, Kentucky, hit me up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That wraps up my top five new features of the new Model S Plaid. Let me know which feature is your favorite in the comments below. 
Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.